Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla, and welcome to episode two of Resident Evil 2 on the N64 Claire A scenario. Sorry for being a bit late today. Uh, I had some equipment issues. Again, that seems to be <laughs> something common when you're streaming. But it's all been ironed out, and we can play Resident Evil 2. So let's jump right back into our yesterday say which was number five number five is alive that was fast i love this game i love this version of this game i don't even get to do the intro and it's like oh okay you're playing okay do i leave the bow gun or do i leave the grenade launcher mm. <laughs> i will have a liquor down there so I'll leave the bow gun for now. I have two diamond keys. Actually, let's go to the west office first and take care of those guys. Yeah. Um, it's actually, I'm talking about the, what, what's it called? It's a confiscation room, maybe? Pray to God there's no liquors here. And the scary door has been engaged. Hello? Anyone home? No liquors, okay. One where one. So basically where, where I want to go to is the room where Officer Marvin was on his last breath. And I will have to go around through the uh, through the western hallway with uh, broken shutters to get to this room right next to me and unlock it from inside also find some items there I've been recording it so all the streams uh, I've been doing with uh, these retro consoles. I've been recording. I've been, I'm using uh, Streamlabs OBS, by the way, and uh, have been recording them as MKV files. And today, to my horror, when I was trying to make some uh, promotional art for the Resident Evil 2 run, I find out that <laughs> the whole Adobe CC Suite does not support MKV files. So conversion is it, you can't even convert them with Adobe Media Encoder. So I found a third party tool that I can do it, but it'll take some time. So we can have more interesting uh, stream announcement, uh, promo art for Resident Evil 2 and basically any other uh, continuous stream like games I'm trying to beat here. Okay. One diamond key. Two diamond keys. Well, two diamond keys is in, is in the eastern hallway. Where we'll... Oh, Jesus, yeah, I forgot. Come to face to face with a liquor. Screw you, guys. Oh, it's two of them. No, to the left, to the left. Oh, okay, she'll get... Bit. That works. One more shot. Where is she? Okay, she yeah. oh. I hate it when I can't see what they're doing there. You dead, boy? Yeah, he's dead. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Well, let's use the last three bolts on him, unless he decides to ruin the party by jumping at me. Okay, I'm here when I can see you. Oh, hopefully all, just one tri bolt will kill him. But you know, oh, it's two of them again. Oh, Jesus, should have brought the grenade launcher, but I'm fine and dandy, so it's okay. Hopefully I'll find some bullets here as well. Back, back I say. Alive? Oh, you had to be alive. Okay, that's it. That was a lot of zombies. Again, much more than I expected. 
Yes, use the lockpick. The ultimate weapon. Plastic bomb. Now we need the detonator. Not like that. Let's check the plastic bomb. Enough C4 to clear the wall, but it needs a detonator. Okay, reloaded. Ready? Just 22 bullets. There should be something in one of these, like, uh, yeah, those. <laughs> Bullgun bolts. Let's do an action reload. Hiya! She just took out some invisible bolts, and there we go. Something here. Yeah, it's the same drawers you open in Resident Evil 3. Another film. Okay. Anything here? No. Nothing. No secret ammo. On the floor. None of the zombie policemen have any ammo. So just the ones that are on the like already on the floor. You can't kill them. Like they're dead. They have some ammo, but these guys, like zombies, you'll never find ammo on them. Which is kinda a downer. I mean, of course, they wanted to keep the ammo count to the minimum, so it would be survival horror. But still, it would be nice to have more ammo, or just like sometimes being rewarded with ammo after killing killing a zombie. I think it's just gonna be Marvin now. Oh, okay. Let's develop the film first. Michael. Oh, that's nice. So you can use you can use the Z trigger, um, this thing, to read things. To read. it's the same as A button. So you can choose like, for some reason I've been using A to open doors and read stuff and investigate, and the trigger for shooting. But it, I guess it doesn't matter. Open the doors with Z. So if you had like aiming map to another button, you could just play this game one-handed, really. With this controller, I mean. Mm. Use it, no. Film A. Koji Human Body Experiment. September 15th, 3.24 p.m. Okay, there was one more file, and now let's let's eat one herb because we've been chomped twice, I think, already. And it's not smart to run around without those. With any, well, I got actually scratched by a liquor yesterday and by another liquor, so at least two, if maybe even three, four scratches, and now a zombie bite, and she's still fine. Like what the hell? I mean, I'm not complaining, <laughs> that's way better than what we had in Resident Evil 1, can't even compare it. Uh, yeah, here's it. There, fine and dandy. So let's leave the plastic bomb for now. I'll get the detonator soon, but actually I think, yeah, I'll be able to mix them right away, so I don't have to leave. Um, but let's leave the bolts then. The bolts. And what else? What else? Am I missing something? No? Oh yeah, grenade launcher, but yeah, let's do the grenade launcher. Or let's deal with Marvin first. I'll need some inventory space, I believe. Actually, I could have just left the herb. I'm gonna find another one right away. Forgot that. <laughs> How much space do I have? Two. Yeah, let's make sure I have enough space before I get there and be like, oh, I can't pick this up. I wish you could just wait for rescue in this room. It wouldn't be much of a game, but would be a neat uh, gag. Into the darkness and then into the well illuminated room.
You can see that the textures of doors and stuff like that are a little blurry compared to the PlayStation version, but some of them, again, are a bit easier to read. I guess they've used a different filter. Probably, yeah, those are polygons. Like the uh, the police van uh, in the basement parking. We'll get to that soon enough. She can move it. Uh, like Leon can, but still, it's uh, it's neat. It's neat that you can see actually read what it says, because on the PS I remember it was all blurry. Okay. Memo to Leo. To Leon S. Kennedy. Congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. We all look forward to having you as a part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys at the RPD. <laughs> P.S. Dinner's on you. Alright. I love, love it when I find bullets. Now when I need them. I feel like you find like in all the Resident Evil games. When you're near the end. The end game. You seem to find a lot more. Uh, bullets, pistol bullets specifically. Is there a file here I can read? Is that a file? Is that a... That's a zombie without a head? Oh, ain't that cute. No EX files here? I should check what, where all the EX files are. Like beforehand, I just... Stop doing this! <laughs> Pressing A at every corner. Okay. I guess that's not there. Marvin is a tough cookie, if I remember correctly, so... Hey Marvin, I'm just gonna check on you. Okay. I've checked. Let me run away now. I don't want to stand and stare at him like... Oh, he's, he's all purple. Oh god, that was super unfair. Okay, I think. Come on, one more. What? How did that miss? Ah, never mind. Just three bolts. No biggie. Sorry, Marvin. Couldn't help you. Maybe if I rubbed some blue herb on him, he would have felt better. There's the detonator. They were like right next to each other almost. But I'm, I suppose it's uh, it's a bit different in the B scenario with Claire. We'll see. Actually, we won't. Okay, that's it. Bomb and detonator. Anything here? Maybe David's memo? Possibly a family photo. I mean, is there a family there or just one guy? One person, Claire. That's not too hard to deduce. <laughs> Ah, oh, poor Marvin. I kind of feel that looks like a file you can take, but it's just like, it, what it, What even is that? Oh, it's a desk that's crooked. Okay, I see. It looks totally out of place. Like, uh, like it's stacked on top of another desk, maybe? But I guess three items, that's it for this room. Four, if you count the memo. And we've unlocked the hallway... Uh, door that leads to the eastern office. First floor one. Okay, now let's go and face the liquor. No smoking in this room. I'll leave that for now. And take this instead of that. Oh, can I reload them like this? I wonder. No. Still, okay. So, uh, herb, key. It's gonna go away. Yeah, let's keep it like this. Just in case I run into a zombie and. I don't want to pull the flame rounds on him, <laughs> by mistake. If 
I feel that the music got a better treatment than the voices. Uh, it doesn't sound as compressed, but probably because they somehow ported the MIDI over. And I think that's one of the things that supports that is... If you watched yesterday when I unlocked the hallway doors, the sound is completely different than what we hear in the PlayStation version. In fact, I believe it sounds more like the PC version, but I might be wrong. Let's face that liquor. Oh, even that's faster, like discarding the key. In Resident Evil 1 it opens the menu, the key like floats your face and then it's like, do you want to discard the key? Yes, and then you're still in the menu, yada yada. Okay, this will connect the shutters for us. And I think it reflects on scenario, scenario B as well. Again, I'm not sure. We'll confirm when we get to Leon B. So it could be that if I use the cable now with Claire, it shorts out when we play as Leon. But don't hold me to that. Anything else here before we get scared to death by a well hidden liquor somehow? Is he gonna attack? No. Not until I take the stone. But then I just have to be careful when aiming so it doesn't move. Okay. That's eagle. So yeah, the blue one must be serpent. Unless we'll pick that one up already, I'm not sure. Maybe I can just run past him. Let's try that. I don't have to fight the bastard. Yeah! Yeah, it worked! We don't even have to fight him. Fuck you, liquor. I'm not coming back there. Not again. Didn't seem that there was anything there anyway. Alright, that's at least one flame round saved. It took me so many playthroughs of like the first three Resident Evil games to realize, oh, you don't have to kill everyone. It's just that you want to be safe by killing everyone. But it's not a requirement. You can just finish the game without killing most of the enemies. You can avoid them. I mean, if you're crafty enough. So now we can climb to either there or there. Let's go here. I tried to play this game, it has the uh, the control scheme that's... I don't think it was used until the remake and Zero had been ported to HD consoles but basically it has this control setting um, third person I think? <clears throat> no, first person actually called, but I think that's backwards Where wherever you pull the stick, that's where the character will move but it's so unnatural for a Resident Evil game Here, let me show you So, like... No. Okay. So now where I pull the stick, she goes. You can quick turn, but look how how natural it looks like the, the movement. And it's confusing when you change the camera. Like if you keep holding the same direction, it's okay. But once you move it slightly, it can yeah do that. So it doesn't feel to me at least like playing a Resident Evil. But if you want to play Resident Evil 2 and you're you don't like the uh, the tank controls, as they're known, or I'd say first-person controls, because you're controlling from the uh, from the protagonist's view point of view. Uh, then this would be the version for you, because I don't think any other. I'm not sure that GameCube has this or even Dreamcast. Okay, the cord, we'll use it downstairs, we don't need it for now, but we need, do need the bomb and detonator, and we'll need all the stones, or stone pieces, whatever, and I'm pretty sure we can replace this with a this, and then reload it with a this. And do I even bring the herb here? 
If you go there, you go there. Yeah, I'll use the detonator right away. And that's it for now. We're ready to go say hi to the chief. We're just a few scary doors away from the chief, folks. Nothing here, okay. That's it. That's where the woman was screaming and interrupting our investigation. Rude woman. Shaboom! All right. It's already safe to enter somehow. Kind of feel like C4 would have blown her away quite a bit, but again, I'm not a C4 expert, so just my opinion. Oh, look at this lovely office. What could be here? Hmm, let me try and investigate. Hmm, what's this, I wonder? Some scary music? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No. Don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. <laughs> That's the mayor's daughter. <laughs> I was told to look after her. But I failed miserably. I mean, he seems trustworthy. Why not? No cuckoo there. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Was. Skin, nothing short of perfection. Ah, cable. Okay. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. Some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. You forgot setting her on fire, like Im immolating her? Immolating. Look at all the heavy words I know. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please, I'd really like to be alone now. I mean, why not? You, you, you seem shocked and appalled. Where's your secretary, man? Was she also in on this? Please. Shocked and appalled. I'd really like to be alone now. Okay, okay. I just want to get that picture behind you, but yeah, just be rude, jackass. I'll just prowl around your office for a while. Maybe you have some EX files here. Something that explains what happened to a lot of things. Nope. Not here. What about here? Chief? Chief, give me a hint, man. Hot, cold? Nothing. Well, screw you, buddy. I might need a few more empty spaces. A stuffed animal. A lot of places from the police station in the police station look a lot uh, like a lot of places in the Spencer man Mansion, and that wasn't an accident, I'm sure. The hallway is kind of like the hallway and the dining room. This reminds me of. Aha! Uh -huh. This reminds me of. Uh, the room where you find, where there are stuffed animals, where you find Wesker's orders, it's like the, on the second floor on the west. Someone's running, 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 and I should be me running, I'm the one, uh... Huh. 
Oh, here we go. Another appalled diary. Secretary's Diary B. June 8th. As I was straightening up the chief's room, he burst through the door with furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I've started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. The last time was when I bumped into that statue, only this time he looked even more agitated than ever. I seriously thought for a moment he was going to hurt me. June 15th. <laughs> I finally discovered what the chief has, has been hiding all along, dot, dot, dot. If he finds out that I know, my life will be in serious danger. It's getting late already. I'm just going to have to take this one, one day at a time, dot, dot, dot. Blank, I mean blank. The secretary's diary B has been filed. So, I guess he ate her, or this, I don't know, did weird things to her. Oh, hello, what's this here? There's nothing here. I thought I heard something. Okay, must be my imagination. Push the switch. Oh, my. Wait, <laughs> let me go. Easy, uh, easy uh, there. I'm uh, not uh, a zombie. Uh, uh. You're safe now. <laughs> Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. So that's one. One use of the walkie-talkie. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. <laughs> From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But Except it's not. Here as well. You'd better come with me. <laughs> From the look of things, like but there's something no. out there. No. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. After me. What was that? <laughs> That's what I was telling you about. It's here. It Jerry, doesn't look wait. like my father at all. Before, you know, he should be in uh, early stages now, William Birkin, and he should be more or less still kind of human, because you fight him later on, you can still see the face, so if she saw him, I don't know, again, I'm not criticizing, just nitpicking. Oh, look at that, something of a better resolution is inside the box, than the box itself, that's what I meant. This is just like Chief's back room where he comes to like what? Light a fire in this fireplace and warm his wee wee. I don't get the point of this room. I mean, it's beautiful, yeah, it is, but it doesn't look like it's been used. So it's just a decorative, decorative fireplace. Maybe it would have had more of a purpose. Maybe it was supposed to have more of a purpose, but they changed it. Like I found out uh, last night after, oh look, they look like the images from, no, they don't, <laughs> from the gallery from Resident Evil 1. Um, yesterday I was watching Ink Ribbon and found out that the graveyard in Resident Evil 1 Remake was supposed to be in the original game, but it was cut. And that shocked me and appalled me, I gotta say. Oh. So... That's a neat, neat, neat detail. I don't know that they put it back in the in the remake. It's one of the best remakes of a video game ever. I mean, both Resident Evil One and Two share that title, so I'm pretty good with remakes so far. What a useless hole! What's the point of this? Like, look at this. Just like could have been just the one more room next to it. It's just. Oh, look at the size of my penis. I beg, I built very, very long and very useless hallways. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
And he was kind enough. Yeah, he's probably hiding behind the chair, Claire. <laughs> chair, Claire. He was kind enough to leave the key. Oh, for... Okay, yeah. Let's... Ooh, more reading material. Chief's Diary. September 23rd. My birthday. He wrote on my birthday. He loves me. He really loves me. Oh, can I do Chief's voice? No. It's all over. Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Dot, dot, dot. Despite all their promises, they've... I read Jill. <laughs> They have ruined my town. Soon the streets will be infested with zombies. I'm beginning to think that I may even be infected myself. I'll kill any everyone in town if this turns out to be true! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> September 24th, the aftermath of Hippotest's birthday. He was probably hungover. I was successful in spreading confusion among the police as planned. I've made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays in police actions, no one will ha have the chance to escape my city alive. <laughs> I've seen to it personally that all escape routes from inside the precinct have been cut off as well, because I am a sadistic maniac like that. There are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. September 26th. I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I've decided to hunt, decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the back, Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour ago. I watched him writhe in pain upon the floor in a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy... No, wait, dot, dot, dot. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes, frozen forever in the pose I choose to give her. And that's Chief's diary. He's a pretty nice guy, as you can see. There's a button below the picture, which is like normal in Resident Evil Universe. So <laughs> Almost every picture has a button beneath it. The sacrifice dies by the claw of the jaguar. Its blood forms a serpent that poisons the earth. An eagle glistens, bathed in blood. And the gateway of doom will open. Oh, guy. So, what? Eagle, huh? So, jaguar is the blue one. Okay. Plop. Plop. And we need... Why did I bring that? We need the second half, which... Like the rest of this... Uh, the rest of the run in the police station is just chasing the second half of that. Now we have the heart key. It's in the shape of a heart. Okay. We got everything we needed here. Let's go, Claire. Let's go to New Horizons. Or... Well... New... Scary doors that were... Blocked previously. Whee, she's a bit drunk, as you can see. Wavering left and right. Woohoo! Wee! Okay. Um, what comes here? What do I do? Let me remember some things. Why do I keep thinking there's a file there? Maybe it was an outbreak or something. So, that's just the second of Phase Prey. This game feels more brutal than the first one, but it doesn't feel more brutal than the first one. I'll leave the health, I'll be cocky like that. I think below I'll find uh, Cerberi and later Liquors, so I gotta prepare accordingly. So this shall go here, and we'll need this and the key. And bolts, don't forget the bolts. Okay. Yeah, that's it, I think. No key items, no valves, no lighters, nothing. Let's use the shortcutty thingy. Woo wee! Okay. 
So many scary doors. I love how both remakes of Resident Evil 1 and 2, like, they keep the door animations, but they're less frequent because a lot of rooms, especially floors, just count as one single room. So they, they had more memory to load bigger rooms, so they used that wisely. Like, you wouldn't see a stair. I don't think there are any stair, stairs animations in the in the remake of Resident Evil 1. And yeah, there are no door uh, animations in Resident Evil 2 remake, but they kind of opened them for real with their hands, like in Resident Evil 7. So that counts, that's a good, you know, that's in my eyes, that's a good um, conversion of that specific uh, gameplay thingy. My word's bad right now, I speak conservatively. Well, that's that's a bigger word. I failed. Okay, should I? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna use the cord now anyway. Before us, all sorts of bastards pour in here. So, come on. Okay, then use the cord. I wonder, I'm, some things just keep popping to, uh, popping to my mind. What if I left the cord for Leon or something? Would that work? Because I know it's going to short out in scenario B. It just told me, you know, it's going to short out soon. Nothing here. Nothing here. And this is the club door. One of three, I think. Yeah, three. The last key we need to find actually to get to the final stone slab piece. So Cerberoi, I'm ready for you. Uh, I think they're gonna be stuck there forever. Okay, not forever. Not all of them at least. So at least I can see them. One of them will be stuck behind the walls. At least one of them. Come on, man. Everybody's wearing body armor here. Even the dog. Are you dead? Come on! Seriously? That was like seven bullets for a Cerberus? Not insane at all. I feel like he will pop up at a certain point but they're just to the right to the left yeah I'll, I can survive one Cerberus bite oh run yeah okay they're faster but I have ah, I have all them that was nice that was nice oh okay. so she's finally yellow after all of those, the one more dead. Who? She's finally cautioned, like after everything that happened and and healed. Now she decides to get hurt by a dog bite. This one's also gonna take like a whole arsenal of bullets for some reason. Oh no! Okay. We will survive. We have our bow gun. I think, yeah, this is for power. I know this is for power. The map is pretty familiar from playing uh, the Resident Evil 2 campaign in Left 4 Dead. So that helps a lot. Okay, another green herb. You lose some, you gain some. That's the philosophy of life. Reserve control panel. Power can be routed to areas with ins insufficient power using these five switches. Using all the power may cause a short and cut the power supply. So will, will that fuck it up? So we need to get to 80. So let's start by 36. And then at least one's down. I know. Then another 36. 
then one more down and one more up and that's it ping after the tone leave a message it's the, the exact same tone that my old Panasonic answering machine had yes always take the maps that there shouldn't be a question just like it should just be like oh you got a map okay it's not really big the map did we ever get the map of the second floor probably I don't know well now that that everything's open it doesn't really matter to even find the second floor map I forgot in all honesty I forgot what is that <gasps> what is that what is that Oh, yeah. Nothing. With no rounds, yeah, they're gonna be in the in the ammo storage. Oh, hoo -hoo. okay. I think I can survive the the fuck fuck apocalypse that awaits me in the autopsy room. But I'm gonna get the um, what do they call all uh, the rounds, the bullets and stuff, the shooty things. Power to the card reader is on. Okay, yeah, but we can't open. Let's try and see if there's anything in the parking area. Probably gonna waste some bullets on some Cerberi, but what not? Why not? Why not? Porking area. <laughs> Welcome to the porking area. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna get porked by a few dogs. Maybe Leon already killed him? Oh, he did. Thank you, Leon. Oh, there we go. This was what I was talking about. You see, it looks like even the in the stream, I'd say, look, it, on TV, it looks pretty clean. Let's see, maybe this angle. Yeah, it's only when you push it, probably. But it's all, it looks, you can read, like, Raccoon Police Department, call 911. I don't know what's what's in between. I can't make it out. But still, on, on the PlayStation, I just remember the white blur, blur. Oh, our first blue herb. Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, it's just a green one. Just a green one. I should be punished for that. Can't go any further. That would go up to the, yeah, to the parking where, where Leon, or actually where B scenario enters the police station. But there's nothing there for us now. Is there any ammo maybe? Again, everything's possible. I don't know. Could be, probably not. Like in this pile here, I feel like I found ammo once here, where I didn't expect to find it. But again, that could be the remake now, I have no idea. Well, that was weird clipping. Shouldn't she be behind the car? Yeah, I think it's not doing that properly. Okay, we'll forgive it. Oh, no, wait, the perspective is kind of weird. It's like she's, like the car is always in front of her and should be, should not be. No ammo. Well, it's not a giant waste of time because there was a green herb that's always counts for something. We did that. That's the club door. Huh, I think there's some ammo here. That, that was here, I think, in the garbage. Yeah, okay. All right. I love that. You don't even see it, but it's there. You will find it if you look hard enough. More Cerberi. Yeah, they're gonna jump at me, so... Oh, green herb. That's a nice fixer-upper. Let's combine them. I don't think running will set them up. It'll just be me walking here, walking out here. And that's, that should be, yeah, wait, that's the, uh, oh, 
I'm just trying to see that would be the balcony so basically I'm just below the below where the where I found the valve the valve handle I think I mean it seems like that but the maps aren't exact here so it's hard to know I think I can trick both of them if I do this yeah okay okay they're getting closer to each other One more, come on. Do I have enough ammo? No. That's it. One bullet left. Okay. I didn't count. <laughs> okay, is there anything else left to pick up here? Now that we're kind of relaxed. Yeah, that is below the where the uh, where the wall valve was. I'm pretty sure. No ink ribbons. No. No. Yeah, I found the red herb. Yeah, that's it. I feel that the mansion um, Resident Evil 1 outside sounds I don't feel, I know, I like them a lot better So now before proceeding, I'm not gonna save again because I'm all cocky like that uh, but this is gonna be kinda da dangerous part but it's not impossible I just, I might use an F8 spray at worst and that's gonna be with Sherry, actually, not not with Claire. Hmm, it's gonna be liquors, I'm pretty sure. Or zombies, so let's leave. Yeah, I can save these. Let's save these, fuck that. Okay, one, two, that's good for now. Okay. Should be there. Yep. Sherry, I've been looking Sherry. for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey. Okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. <laughs> no. No. <I'm> <laughs> Fuck you, Claire. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? I'm not creepy at all. It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. And the same voice, like that monster that I just seen. Daddy so. must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Yeah, you're gonna help him, for sure. Wait, Sherry, <sighs> don't go alone. Sherry! Sherry, Sherry. So that audio compression does give everyone a little. I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> Sean Connery reaction. Uh, actually, more like Sean Connery sound. So everywhere it's a little lispy, but it's it's pretty bearable. Pretty bearable. Okay. Now I just try have to try not to die. Easier said than done, because I can't fight shit are there dogs here oh I should have saved fuck she's fucked she is fucked she can't run for her life okay oh Jesus oh, gotta be careful <laughs> hey David what's up bro oh there's the map sewage disposal map jeez I just have one FA spray I should have saved but no, I'm like, I can do this. The whole world needs to see how good I am at Resident Evil. Ah. You just got home? I hope you're resting well. You should. Show silent. Show, show Connery silent. 
push, push. Even she can push this. I mean, she's using both hands, but still, she's like, eh, I shave my dad. Probably gonna fix this fucking glitch as soon as I do that, because it's really annoying. All right. Come on. Yeah, go show that Sega who's the boss. Oh, you mean like the Sega collection on the PlayStation? The that one? Or the Master, your Ultimate Master Collection thingy? Bravo, Sherry, bravo. With the girl. Yeah, it's a great game. I played it on Steam. Uh, it's got a lot of neat things. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Go check it out. Come on, you can do it. All right. Sometimes she'll be like, hey, 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 I'm going to fall. Oh, okay, I made it. Turn and run. You can turn and run. Whoo-wee. I think I can survive the dogs because there, I'm pretty sure there's an item if I go to the other room. So I'll go to the other room, even though it's risking my life. Her life, she's weak as hell. Well, she didn't go yellow from the first dog bite like Claire. That's gotta count for something. And I could fuck up my game by using an F8 spray, but that's the risk we're, we're ready to take here on Sean Connery Evil. Let's try the D-pad. The D-pad seems to be better for avoiding uh, the horde. Fucking Cerberi. Run! Don't let anybody eat. Okay, they, they're avoiding me for a second there. Run, 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 stop! Oh, God. Ah, not my neck. I love my neck. I love it. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> the pressure is real. If she starts limping, I have to... Oh. <sighs> I have to use the spray. Yeah, yeah, faint fawn. It is scary. And when you're running as a weaponless child. And I just risk her life for six grenade rounds. It's not good parenting, but okay. So that's Daddy William, Mommy Annette, and little Sherry. Whew. So this is what where Ada would come in in Leon's scenario, and we'll see that in scenario scenario B. Okay, now we need to survive those two dogs again. We can't even punch them. Maybe just throw the necklace at them like, eh, take that. Just run. Fuck them. Ah, my neck. I love my neck. Why would you do that? Ah, again. Just leave my neck alone, filthy animals. Ah, run to the elevator, run to the elevator. Yeah, you'll make it, you'll make it, you'll make it. Even if one nibs at her, she's making it. Oh, God. Okay, that was... That's probably the scariest part in this game for me, because you're just helpless. At least Ada has a fucking pistol. Sherry has nothing, just a necklace. Thanks for the sparks, uh, Pain Fawn. I really appreciate it. Sherry, uh, glad are you're you having okay? fun. Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here! Eh. So the key, okay, but like six fucking grenade rounds. I think she can take on a few zombies Thanks, if she sweetie. can throw a grenade now, round why back. Why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. I'm not creepy at all. Eh. Claire. She just looked around and was like, "Fuck that, Claire." Anymore. But don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take care of myself. Like the giant hole over there? Now do not run towards the dogs, Wait, you Sherry, stupid come kid. Back. Sherry! 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 Wasn't... Wasn't the... Uh, one of the... Was it Stan's sister? Court? She, she, she's Sharon. Yeah, Sharon. It's probably when she grows older, she's Sharon. Thanks for the follow, man. So yeah, the last police station key. And do we have any more room? Yeah. Okay. Oh, take that. For fuck's sake, just take it. Alright, let's reload the grenade launcher. 
open the scary door. It's excellent. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, I, do, I don't need anything. We didn't use the FA spray, which is fan fucking tastic for real. It's in shape of a club. Not the club, it's just like the card club. Okay. Let's grab the. I'm gonna use a little bit of boat, so preserve some of these for now. Because no matter what people say about the bow gun, I think it's pretty neat. She has the bow gun and the grenade launcher with three different rounds. Leon has shotgun, that's upgradable though, and a magnum, that's also upgradable. So it's kind of fair. It is fair. It's, it's leveled. Balanced is what I want to say. Let's reload this. Gonna save the flame rounds for harder things, like especially the. Uh, the ivies, poison ivies, which are <laughs> such a breeze in this game compared to the remake. Oh god, it's just hilarious. I had real issues with them uh, with Claire scenario because there's no um, in the remake. There's no flamethrower for Claire. You can use the uh, flame rounds again, and it's not as effective because it doesn't keep like constant spray of flames. It just like does like a and you pray to God that. You know, most of the flames were on the ivy. Okay, that's about it, I'm gonna say. Some uh, pistol ammo. Um, we'll find more things there. I'm gonna decide what to leave for the second character and what to bring. Yes, okay. 18, 6. Yeah, that's it. I'm ready to go. Oh wait, where's the key? Where the fuck did I leave the key? There it is. Everything's okay here. I don't need any of these. Just the key for now. Ooh, okay. After that fright, I feel a lot more confident. Rawr. Go up the ladder. In one. Two, three, five. It's always five up the ladder. No, four here. Huh. Four step ladder. Here I come. Opening the scary door. The double X scary door. Liquors, maybe? Yep, liquors. Okay, there are two of them, just one. Ooh-wee! Hi, Krusty Toes. What a nickname. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with the explosive round. Is there two of them? Yep, there's two of them. Well, you're kind of fucked, Claire, but let's wait for them at this corner. It's easier than to have them behind me. Hello, I'm not here. Can't hear me. Okay, she can see him. <clears throat> that's good, that's good. It's good. That guy's dead, and the other guy didn't hear me. That is fantastic. Okay. Is he on the ceiling? Because that. Maybe I should wait. Okay, she's not frightened yet. Is he to the right? Is there another one to the right? No. I wonder if he's on this. Oh, there he is. He's close by and on the floor. Okay, that's, let's wait for him where I can see him better than he can hear me. One scratch. Okay, let's save those and do this. Die, bastard. How do they miss occasionally? That's just annoying. Drugs. I gotta do drugs to save. Fine. What have you... Come, Claire. Run, run, run. Oh boy. Let's go back for some herbs because I know there will be quite a few zombies. And I'm gonna reload the uh, bow gun. Leave the grenade rounds for other liquors and shit. I think. 
I think this is the point where all the, well, not all, where the liquors will spawn in, um, on the second floor of the hall, police station hall and stuff like that. <laughs> is that a, something I should know or just like crusty toes? <laughs> Leave that, take that, and that, and at least one green herb, like that. And since we're OCD, we have to do this right. There you go. Whee! So reload the, uh, the bow gun, don't forget. It's six, seven shots. Okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. Ammo's pretty good. A lot better than in the <laughs> Resident Evil 1 without auto aim. That was just all kinds of fucked up. And I gotta say, I feel that uh, it's easier to control the character on the N64. Just because of the, the, the stick is actually analog, so if you push it lightly you'll walk but if you push it harder you'll start running you don't have to use a second finger autopsy room the club key has been used and there's two more club doors in the precinct both on the eastern side of the floor oh hello you all of you who are not dead at all Pretending, don't even want to chomp me. Are they turning? I kind of feel that some of them were turning their heads. No? No. Whew. Ooh, I gotta read that. Alpis Copadam X. That's something that's hard for me to read. Thanks for the sparks, I appreciate it. The scary drawer. Okay. Are we ready for some... Oh, wow. Should have brought that grenade launcher, but... That's all we have now. I guess it'll be okay. They, 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 they all come on the... Have that cue from the... From taking the red card. How does it work? Nobody knows. Smart zombies. Weapon storage. Okay. Back. Back, I say. Okay, he's kind of dead. He's dead, all right. I can't even see where they are. No turn to him. One more down. Let's reload it. It's five more shots left. And three zombies, okay. Okay, you die too. Oh, guy, don't do that. I'll risk chomping. He wasn't really hurt by that. Okay, that was stupid. I should have just... He's gonna go for the neck now. Ooh, they're coming for them toes, yeah. <laughs> they are. Just... Ah, oh, he chomped me. Good. That's what I get for being old. I don't want to use this. I want to save ammo. You died for it. Just for chomping on my neck. Claire does not appreciate that at all. Bulletproof assholes. Is that it? And this guy, he's just chilling here. He ain't getting up. He ain't getting up. He's not hungry, apparently. Okay, let's mix them up. I will survive. I will survive. Yeah, yeah. Nothing? No pistol ammo? Yeah, it's all gonna be in the weapon storage. Ooh. At least there's like minimum amount of enemies left. And lots of ammo coming up. No, don't use it automatically. Just open the menu and click use because... Why not? 
Looks like a lab door, not an armory door. Yes, beautiful ammo, I love you. I missed you so much. I will never misuse you again. Oh yes, it's fully loaded. That was exactly the clip. Oh yeah, it's not 17, it's 13. Okay, okay, okay. Safety has been felt. Nothing here, nothing here. I know what's in here, but before that... No more ammo, just three. The report said there's lots of ammo in the weapon storage. My ass. And the person in charge of the key has been missing. So I'm thinking leaving both of these for Leon. Oh side pack or just take the machine gun with Claire and leave the side pack for Leon I'm gonna go with that because I feel like I'll appreciate more inventory in the second game or just leave both for Leon can I do that is that a, can you do that does anybody know like Leon will have a shotgun and yeah, lots of bosses now nah, I'll take it with Claire might regret this decision, but this side. Do not equip that. I wanna say it for Leon. I wanna reset the last hour of game because of that. Okay, okay, okay. That's all the ammo we have. Well, okay. William doesn't stand much of a chance. Kind of feel that I should love for Leon, but. At the same time, I'm not sure if that's a thing. I don't think I've done it. And it might just cause one of them might disappear. Probably not, but I don't want to risk it. And Claire looks better with a submachine gun, with that tiny, tiny submachine gun than Leon does. In Leon, Leon's hands, it looks like a fucking toy. Another club door opened. Welcome to the club. There's something here. A paper more than a week old. What is that, like a paper drying machine? What is that supposed to be? Oh, like... Uh... Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, back to the safe room. Let's not do anything here until... Actually, why not? Maybe there's some ammo that can combine. Yeah, Leon found the Magnum here already. Or Claire maybe is like, oh, I can't use that. That's too big for my tiny little hands. Anything here? This part reminds me a bit of the no ammo. Of uh, Resident Evil 1 laboratory bit. Watchman's Diary. What? Which voice voice will we give to the watchman? Let's give him an old man voice. August 11th. I finally had the chance to see the blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than that I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? Questions we'll find out, and <laughs> to which answers we'll find out in Resident Evil 3. September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back, and there's no end. His name is Thomas. Thomas the Tank. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock and create with engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way that he's always scratching himself. Dot, dot, dot. Does he have some sort of skin disease or is he just rude? September 9th. 
Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent, decent player, but he did, did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagined that could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy that did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. Dot, dot, dot. I wonder if he's okay. Maybe he's just like a guy who likes food, man. September 12th. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas the Tank, but we had to cancel it because, cancel it because he hasn't been feeling so well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. Hey, that's trademark now. You can't say it. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Dot, dot, dot. I think what killed all these people are the ellipses, the three dots, because they seem to be really dependent on them. Nobody in this universe writes like, I did this, period. It's always like, oh, something happened, dot, dot, dot. Okay, let's check another safe room and dump all this shit. Can I? I can combine that, but that doesn't help too much. Well, that's what I get for taking the submachine gun. That's that's a clue. That's a sign that I should have left it for Leon. Hooey. So the closest one is upstairs, yeah. Here or the other way, doesn't matter. It's about the same distance. About three scary doors away. Duck, duck. Up. One scary door, two scary door, three scary door, <laughs> and here we are. Wow, it's a lot more scary doors than I thought. Just a few steps, then a scary door. Okay, we're here. All of this just to get the second fragment of the of the serpent stone, oh, jaguar stone, jaguar stone. My apologies, mixing up my stones and whatnot. So this fucks up my OCD inventory, but yeah, look, it's easily fixable. Okay, then you go there, you go there. Whoop. That's. A lot better. Um, nothing scary is gonna happen there, so I can leave this as well. I am 85% sure. Oh yeah, and I'll leave the key as well, so I'll have enough space for everything that I need, yeah. Let me just check if the liquors are here already. At least I'll know what to avoid, where to go. Because I think I can just avoid them. Just simply not go here. Yep. I would say just one. Yeah. They, I don't think they can even hear me from that far. Uh, the surround sound is really good with the headphones. I never tried that, but it sounds lovely. And... Well, one of the best things is I can hear where they are. I can judge the distance a lot better than I could on in the PlayStation and PC versions. So kudos to Angel Studios. I mean, they really did a magnificent, a magnificent job of porting this game. It doesn't happen. Like, you know, that's not even today. It's not common to have ports with so many quality of life improvements. It's just insane how much they packed into a 64 megabyte cartridge and it works i dare say you know it works in s with some things with some areas it works better than the disc based versions because well unless you just break the cartridge it's always gonna work 
The only thing is that I think the save is battery back. It's not. I think it's not in one of those e eprom or or flash saves. I'm pretty sure I saw a battery inside there, and you know it's not a game that you can. It's a game that you can like just finish all four scenarios in a few days, but it's still annoying that you can lose that the saves. Uh, but then you have the thing where you have a whole memory card basically dedicated just to this game. It's got 15 save files, like one memory card on the PlayStation. But you can swap it, like you can't use multiple memory cards. So it's a mixed bag, like good and bad. But if you if you don't need like 50 of those... <laughs> yeah, there's there's actually one scene missing there, so that theory just falls flat. <laughs> A good try though, I, I've seen they did that. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't expect you there, guy. Oh, the right back, you just sit tight. Two of them. Oh, there's more liquors for me. Whew. <laughs> Sit tight, I'll be back with a bug spray. Pretty soon. Okay. Well, that's unnecessarily running, running left and right. But actually, there's a there's a better way to get to a safe room, avoiding the second floor liquors. I'll just go to the to the safe room that's in the waiting office by the hallway, yeah. It's, and it's a lot closer. Okay. It's a good thing liquors can jump from above, because that would really suck. I don't think I ever have to run past those two. Or is it one upstairs? I'm not sure. Okay, so bow gun for good measure, just in case we lose. How about using the machine gun of them? What did I use it on anyway? Let's use it on them. Fuck it, I'm gonna go. Going all out. Feel like it's gonna be easier than. Or maybe not, because I can do like. Ta -ta -ta Ow! Ta -ta 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 Ow! Just in case, bring this. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is just silly now. Let's leave this for now. Oh boy. So I'll try the machine gun just to read remind myself what it's gonna be like. Just one tiny little herb, just in case. I think three spaces are gonna be enough. This is me experimenting with things I never did when actually playing this for myself. Uh, I don't remember what I used the machine gun on. Probably on a boss or something. Saved it for the, the end, which is just silly. Let's use it up then. Oh, jeez, I feel like I should have left the machine gun for scenario B that there would be some submachine gun rounds in scenario B. I think this was a big mistake. Big mistake, but yeah, we'll live. Oh, I just remembered that. Like the room that needs two signatures. Maybe if they don't have the machine gun, they find something else, like shotgun shells or whatever. I mean, Leon in this case. Mm-mm. More pointless hallways. Like they did that a lot better in the remake, because this doesn't go just like around the room just to get to it. Makes no fucking sense in no world. Should I stay in the corner where they can corner me further or what did that work? Is there another one? Kinda of feel like there were two. That's it? That was silly. No second liquor? Oh, I was scared of nothing. And just spent 6% of 
ammo. Well, what's the, what's this submachine gun? Mac 11, manufactured by Military Armament Corp. Uses DOT 380 rounds, 380 rounds, I guess. Oh, for fuck's sake! Run back, run back when you don't think of run. Let's yeah, let's do this then. Take this, and I'm gonna go develop the film and come back with a lighter because I forgot that I I will need the lighter here. So it has three. There are three spots in the game that use the lighter, and this is one of them. It's totally messed up, but I don't have to check it 50 times, I suppose, to find something secret. There should be an F8 spray or something here. Yeah. Okay. Is there an EX file? Is that an EX file? Are you an EX file? No. 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 What happened here? They had like a press conference and just cut it short. Fuck everything, zombies are here. Oh look, there's a case, but it's empty. Nothing there. I don't think there are any more items here, but I'll still like touch every corner. That's the beauty of this game. You get to you get to actually do some like uh, exploring. I wanted to say questing, it's not questing can light a fire here come on baby light my fire and I'll give you a gear gear of time not a gear of war so that was just like silly okay note to self machine gun good for liquors So we're going west to the dark room to develop the film um, and get the lighter. And what else? Nothing else for now. Oof, I'm getting a serious case of Nintendo thumbs. Especially because the D-pad is like, it works, it works great, it's miraculously a very little used gamepad, but the D-pad always works great, when you want to do the upper right diagonal, it just says no. So I should check into that, you gotta push it like real hard in order to do that. But it's one of better Nintendo's D-pads, at least like from all the ga consoles I've tried up until, I'm gonna say the Wii, but actually the GameCube, but I haven't played the Wii much. There's a liquor here, I swear to God, I will shoot it. Okay, guess I scared him. Open this scary door. Open sesame. Sean Connery demands you to open. Hmm. Will I need this? No, fuck it. I have a machine gun. Yeah. Okay. Don't need that as well. But I will bring these and that. And I'll develop that. And that's all for me, folks. In terms of armaments. Yes, you can develop film there. That is nice. Film B. Pictured in front of the Arcus Taylor. Regressed into a zombie within two hours. Subject repeatedly complained about severe agitation of the epidermis in addition to the feeling of nausea. Nausea. Nausea? Nausea. This happened up to the moment he lost con consciousness. Pictured by R. Lambert. It's going to the Resident Evil Museum of Glory. Okay, so we have almost two books filled with files. That is really nice. It's really good. And so far, just one save. So I suppose I'm gonna save again, um, and when I'm decide to end the stream, 
That's that feels natural. Let's go get that cog. Warning, warning, warning. Opening the door. The music's still kind of tense in this room. I mean, with all the scenery, no wonder. Yeah. <laughs> blood, blood splattered everywhere. I wonder if it's blood or cola. Maybe we should call in Barry to investigate. Just like, lick that Barry. That seems to be your kind of thing. Just tell us, is that blood? Or is it fucking lighter? Oh, God. Okay, yeah, I have a room here. If I just shut up for a second, I will remember to bring the lighter. No biggie, we're next to another double scary door that holds an item box. So here we go, is that all? Didn't forget anything, hopefully. Oh, thanks for the sparks Minotauro, I, I appreciate it. Minotauro? Minotauro probably. Running, opening, that's what we do. We've deduced that Claire is also um, the master of unlocking because she has a fucking lockpick with her. And it's even made of, what's this called, like, forget it, it's not a bobby pin, it's um, uh, I forgot the, the English expression. Or maybe it's just a lockpick, maybe it's not a bob modified thing. You work on that. Yeah. Or get it right back with that English expression. <laughs> well, Google it for crying out loud. <laughs> we can think to like tomorrow, but I'm sure there was like. Uh... It's gonna be something ridiculous, you see. Oh yeah, the, the picture should give us a clue. Which doesn't make any sense because it's not really actually the card, the cards, but okay. Picture of a man on a carriage. Something is written on the wheel. Like the queen, the king, and the jack. Then the carriage will start running. Well that's a bold lie. But they're speaking. Safety pin, thank you. I think it's just a modified saf safety pin. There. They're speaking in puzzle language here, so... King... It says Queen, King and Jack. And it says number... According to this, number 12 is the Queen. 13 the King. And 11 the Jack, right? Well, I always expected it to be like the card numbers. 14... Actually, 11, 14, and 15, right? That's the, yeah. So they always, but maybe in Japan cards are different, I don't know. Nobody bothered to translate it. Oh, look, the carriage is running, but it lost its wheel, so it's not going anywhere anytime soon. The wheel is missing. You just got it, Claire. Jesus, woman, pay attention. Gold plate, it looks like a large clock cog. Clock cog. Okay, now we go, we carry this, take it to um, the clock tower that the watchman was forbidden to, well, everybody was forbidden to enter. Just, how would Chief even do that? He'd be like, yeah, uh, you know, all these areas in your workplace that you, some of them you need to be at in order to do your jobs, don't go there. Why, Chief? What, you don't question the Chief, you just go, don't go there. One, queer one. Okay, I do want to avoid that liquor. Well, what's the... I'm trying to remember, where is the first boss with Claire? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. 
It's not gonna be yeah, it's gonna be easy actually. Yeah, it's okay. So we're not gonna climb up because the liquor is waiting for us and we wanna save ammo. It's not that I'm gonna need all the ammo, it's just like it's a battle of wits, like how much I can avoid them and how much ammo I can finish the game with and be like when she gets you know, home or like meets Chris, she can be Big Water, look at all the ammo I saved. I don't know why she talks like Elmer the Fudd. <laughs> Ooh, he, he, he. So do I need... Yeah, I can leave the lighter. And I'm gonna leave the machine gun as well. Not gonna use it on the G adult, because... Why would I? Okay, and that goes there. I'll need... Kinda need that. I'll combine it right away. I can leave the machine gun, like I said. Proof. And get... Uh, let's get the bow gun. Okay. Kind of makes more sense. No. The herb goes there. You can either of you can go wherever. And I have a full bow gun, so I'm not gonna take the ammo. Though I don't have too many bullets, but I don't think I'll need them now. There's not much not too many things to kill. And if I do need a grenade launcher, turns out that I do need it, I'll just nip on back to the dark room. Okay. Three steps up and another one, two, three, four. Then you turn right into this lovely but not spooky hallway. Past the statues that are looking at the egoistic bastard. Open the scary door and you're almost there. So avoid the second floor. Yeah, it would be easier to go there past the liquor. Ah. <sighs> It'll be easier to go there. I'll think about it as we go. Hopefully there's not there's no liquors here or like a horde of zombies. I feel that's the thing that just happens with Leon Leon A scenario. No one okay. Alright. I've used the crank already, so that's a plus. And killed that liquor that was out there. Yeah, there was liquor. I hope. No, 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 don't do that. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not gonna go there anyway. Just have fun. I think those are the same guys that were trying to grab her before. Like, oh, horny, so horny. Whew. Nothing yet. There's a liquor but beneath me, but he doesn't care. You can't even see him from here. Well, this is not Spencer's mansion with an additional floor at all. It doesn't look anything like it. Hooey. Let's go up. Oh yeah, I didn't check this. It's gold plated. It looks like a large... Oh yeah, I did. Clock hog. Clock hog, clock hog, clock hog. Say that fast five times. Clock hog, clock hog, clock hog, clock hog. Doesn't sound that good. You will end up with a cock clog, I, I guarantee that. Oh yeah, this is one of those places where the polygons are in your face and everything goes into slurbo. Well, it's not as apparent in the stream, as I can see. But yeah, it's there. Let's use the cock clog. Looks like a switch, will you push it? Of course, like when do we not push switches, Claire? You just should just go blind and push everything you see. There we go. And that's the other piece of the blue stone. And she can jump down there. I guess she doesn't have the courage that Leon has or doesn't have like the <laughs> incredibly durable legs. So it's just for Leon. And there's the Jaguar stone. 
I don't get it. Did she super glue it or did, is it magnetic? Like how did she just, or is she just holding them together? Gonna fit them there still. Why are they even separated in the first place? So many questions that nobody wants to answer. I demand answers, Capcom. I demand answers to this. This thing right here. What's wrong with the blue stone? Why is it, like, why did it have to be four pieces? And where the hell was I? Okay, we'll take a lo longer route because I'm really not really even equipped to um, fight the liquors or, or a liquor. Maybe I could just like walk past him, but I think he's waiting right at the stairs. You know what? Fuck it. I want speed over efficiency anyway. I have the machine gun. Should like things go horribly wrong. My best pal will be there for me. It's just one guy, okay. I think it's just one. I mean, if it's more of them, I'll just run like crazy. Need help with that? Yes, please. Can I... I should be able uh, to avoid him entirely, but... Ah! Stay away! I don't like you! Oh my god, he hears me. Okay, let's kill him. Few bolts should. Yeah, that was okay. That's not bad. Just two, six bolts, like two, three bolts. Let me help. Let me open that thing for you. There you go. All right. So we saved a lot of time. We lost six bolts, but that's the world of Resident Evil. You just gotta wait these things all the time. And now we're about to fight the first boss in the Claire... What's wrong with my shoulders? They look a little crooked. Um, the first boss in the Claire A scenario. Scenario. Here we go. Don't need that. I definitely won't need this right now. I'm gonna say not even the pistol. But yeah, this definitely I won't need. Um, we'll need one of these for good measure and one of these as well. And this. And then, instead of the uh, machine gun, I'll grab these. Exchange them. Six acid rounds should be more than enough for him, but... Just to be sure, I'll get the flame ones as well. They're definitely better than explosive. That's more more than enough health, I'm sure. I'm I, like I'm like almost 100% positive. So that'll fall in place. Is there any key items? Not not yet. I don't need a valve yet. I will need I, I will need the lighter. So four instances will need the lighter. Wow, I was so wrong. Okay, that's it. We're ready to fight. Fight a G adult. Just not barehanded, Claire. That would just be silly. No liquors. Okay. So that's for B scenario as well. <laughs> I love how Chief Irons didn't react to that, the, to me blowing up the... Uh... Claire! Oh, there she is. How did she even get here? Sharon, anyone's guess? you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Because, yeah, you should take care of me, Claire. It's not the other way around. I mean, Sherry. Sharon and Claire. Michelle and Claire. <laughs> And with the Jaguar stone in place. Open sesame! And we get mail to the chief. It's not hail to the chief, it's mail to the chief. To Mr. Brian Irons, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. 
We have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative, 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 op operative. operative, thank you, Albert Wesker, also known as Sexy Wesky. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers and Vickers. If it comes to light that the STARS have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. So, he's trying to dispose like, oh, two, two, four, one, two, three, four, five. Five people, that's a whole hand of people as an accident. What, you're gonna put them all in one place and just drop like a, a 16 ton <laughs> weight on their heads? I don't, I don't get it, <laughs> but okay. We love this game. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. William Birkin. Well, that's definitely not Birkin's voice, but I thought it's just like an umbrella agony. Well, we already started with it, with it, so let's go. Two, Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Police Raccoon, Raccoon City Police Department. I have deposited the amount of US dollars, 10,000, so 10,000 US dollars, to the account for your service this term as per our agreement. The development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that it, I will be appointed to be a member of the Executive Board for Umbrella Inc. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their uh, activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. William Burton. So it's the same thing. We have a problem. I have received information informing me, information informing me, that the Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. Uh, they must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through a net. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus. Not even Umbrella. Dot, dot, dot. William Birkin. I don't know why Birkin sounds like a 1940s news announcer, whatever, but apparently he does. Let's go, Sherry. Are you, are you following? Oh, okay. I need to, yeah. I need to try to leave her for, okay. Claire! She's like, what the fuck, Claire? You're leaving without me? I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Oh, yeah, she's gonna wait. In the room of a fucking maniac. Bad idea, Claire, but okay. It's lucky that he's not there. Going down. Oh. I don't think there's any hidden ammo here. Blah. <laughs> You've been impregnated. That's Willie's scanning guy. Hey, Willie. Nice to see you, man. Oh, yeah, we're not gonna meet Willie here. It's in, he's the first boss in the B scenario, so now we're gonna fight the baby that he's gonna. He just impregnated irons with. Oh boy. You made it this far. Not bad, girl. You're calling a girl, you old I'm man. I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. I mean, he's right about Calm that. Down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happening. Shut up! Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town! 
How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bioweapons. How did that work so far? The the T-Virus in every <laughs> way. Oh, what's wrong with me? Maybe my camera's crooked. Whenever I look at the feed, I look like a... Oh. William Birkin. I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Somewhere. Sherry. Yes, it's Sherry. In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G virus. An ultimate bio weapon. What monster? Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. I don't know if he what means the tyrant or I'm going Willy. to take you with me. Probably Willy. Uh, my chest Such a pet soul. We could have worked together. You dumbass. <laughs> Do I have to kill it or will it run away on its own? Oh yeah, okay. Okay, it's gonna grow up in a few moments. And ooh, that is great. That is fan fucking tastic. So twelve acid rounds. We're winning this fight. Nothing can stop us. And you can load them all. You can load like all the rounds you have. That is such a quality of life improvement over Resident Evil 1. You have no idea what it's like having to carry additional. So basically it saves one uh, one inventory slot uh, because all of the rounds of a certain, like all of the, the same kind can fit into the grenade launcher. Okay, this disturbing shit. Nothing else, just the acid rounds, no pistol ammo, hidden ammo like here or maybe here or maybe even here or here or here. You're not gonna comment on that, Claire? Maybe here in this little bag here. Oh yeah, look at this. No bag. Yes bag. Or like an apron, maybe it's that's an apron, but you can see it here, but they forgot to put it on this side. And I'm sure you can say it's behind the camera because one, two, three, one, two, three. It it's on the left here, so I'm pretty sure they just forgot to put it in. Huh. <laughs> Disturbing stuff. Maybe even appalling. Okay, let's stop digging around or Check. It's a saw. Fresh blood is smeared on the blade. So he, he was dissecting the mayor's daughter. Really? Re really, chief? Just fill him full of acid rounds and he's going down. Now I say that that with a lot of confidence, seeing how I haven't saved in the last two hours. So this could be like a failed. It's not gonna be, let's not even see it. There it is, it's growing up quickly. Oh, look at it, it's so cute. Twitchy, twitchy little fella. But they're so much more scarier in the remake. It's it's hard to even compare. Oh, you can start to stop the thing. Yeah. Okay, just ignore the little ones and shoot the biggie. Two, three, four. Are you alive? She's still alive? No, no, don't puke. No, don't spend my rounds on you. Like she's dead. That's one round I shouldn't have spent. I'm fine. I just. Could have saved around there. Little bastard. Cost me an acid round. 
Yeah, they're, I think they're going to stay on me even after, even after we, um, I, I change the room, but I'm not sure. Maybe that was in Resident Evil, yeah, that was in Resident Evil 3, after all. With the eels or snakes or whatever they are. Can you check the chief? I didn't even try, I was like, yeah, he's dead, fuck that guy. Nope, he's dead, fuck that guy. He wasn't a good human being anyway. Crazy bastard. He basically sabotaged uh, all of the RPD, the surviving officers. They would have had a much better chance of surviving with more ammo, maybe even meet Claire and Leon and help them out. We wouldn't have this game as it is, but he's a he's a bastard. So I'm not, I don't feel sorry for him, but I like him here a lot more than I do in the remake, because I don't know, in the remake he's just not that he cusses a lot, he's just that he's an ass, but in a different way. Claire, His motivation back. is a lot clearer to me here. The G -virus is actually her father. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should Claire be Redfield. able to find someplace safe if we can just make it out of town. Superb actor. But no buts, worry, little lady. You. No buts. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Second use. Oh, I was Leon, wrong about that. Still there? So at least We're three leaving. uses of the walkie talk. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. I heard an ass there. Right. Trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Sewer. It's the sewer. Claire. Claire, wait, wait! Fuck you, Leon. Not gonna answer that. Just follow me. And the walkie-talkie just disappeared up her ass, I guess. I'm not gonna go back. I'm pretty confident. Well, let me check. There should be a save room right after this. But I think there's also a part you play with Sherry. And does she keep the same health? I have no idea. I just know I have to run through something. Ah, going all in. If I fail, I'm gonna end the stream, get to the same place, and resume tomorrow. So nothing is lost, folks. Don't worry. <clears throat> Not even gonna change the weapons. Oh yeah, I have to. If I run too fast, she's gonna, just gonna stop. And if I stop and let her, she'll grab my hand. Show them, Sherry. Stop. No, come. See? That's really neat. That's a, that's a really nice touch. Because Ada doesn't hold hands with Leon. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> Imagine if that was a thing, like, when you, Leon and Ada are going together, she holds his hand. Or, like, he holds her hand, or, like, they're holding each other's hands, I don't know. Whatever's the most appropriate thing to say there. <laughs> Let's just walk, ignore the huge corpse that seems to have just disappeared. And that, I think this here, it was broken by William. Oh, no, it actually gets, no, it wasn't. Actually, it should be. If William was there, he would have uh, taken uh, one of the... Just ripped it out and used it as a weapon, I think. Or maybe it's on another... In another fight, I'm not sure. Yes, go up the ladder. The ladder. Welcome to the sewers. We've got... Spiders and gators. No tyrant up there. That's only in Claire B. Wait. Oh yeah. It's gonna Let's be good old Willy. So remember the tank in Left 4 Dead. Yeah. It should be up there. So it's either the tyrant or or Willy, depending on which scenario you're playing. We're playing A, so there. Yep. He, that bar he's holding. Claire? 
they ripped it off from the railing I just saw that was broken. So many nice details. I feel that there are more, way more nice details like that in the original than in the remake. Just like, just the, uh, the A and B routes are done really badly. In the I mean, everything else is done really good, but the routes are... Why did that happen? Like, why? Into shit we go. Where are you? Oh, another Sherry segment. Sherry. Yeah. Claire. 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 Let's take a poop bath. She would have been pissed because of that. Well, and pissed. Well, in both meanings. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's the that's the one, yeah. So if I'm correct Oh let's see. I think I'm gonna end up yeah in one of the storage rooms. Actually I'm sure I'm gonna end up in one of the storage rooms. Where to now? If I if I'm not wrong should be here. Fuck that guy. With all the fuckness. Just run there. Go, go, go. Yeah, that's it. And that's all I have to do with her. Is, I'm pretty sure. Because Claire will come back here. Oh, no. Not the bugs. Fuck the bugs. Ah, not the neck. My lovely neck. Run, run. What's wrong with you? I can't defend. What's wrong? Oh, don't kill me. Not now. Jesus. I think they're there they're just to scare you. Ah! <laughs> so many unnecessarily scary moments. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. She's gonna be like, what? Just the metal? Nothing else? Yeah, just the metal. It's the Wolf of the East, or was it the Eagle of the East? Wolf, Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. Yeah, that's it. What the fuck? <laughs> Wherever Sherry's, Sherry is, things just kind of open for her. Oh, that's a broken spine. Hi, Daddy. And now we'll just hide this instance of incest. Instance of incest. Say that three times fast. Because that's basically what happens. Let's take a poop time. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Real mature of me. Too dark to see what's inside. Oh boy. Okay, there's the safe room I was talking about. I'll clear this, so I'm gonna get into the safe room, clear out the storage room where uh, Sherry just ran through, and end the stream there. So it's gonna take about 10 more minutes, maybe? Something like that. But we're hitting the, we hit the two hour mark, which is wonderful that it just lines up like that. Sewer manager facts. Let's give him like a. I'll just think of a voice. User lists of con the connecting facility. User list of the connecting. On the first and third Wednesdays of the month, Angelica Margaret, chief of maintenance, will make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan, as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to the effects of water va vapors. On the on the 28th of every month, the chemical why did I do that? Transporter Don Weller will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport. On the 6th and the 16th of every month, Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. Because they can't just like walk into the lab, they have to go through, through shit to it. 
On the fourth Friday of every other month, that is so random, William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Inc. As the probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. You will be informed of all other potential visitors and the times they will arrive as needed. Guide, guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing but the best from you. No pressure there. Charles Coleman, Secretary Chief, Umbrella Headquarters. Okay. So a lot of people seem to have traveled to poop. Double ammo! That's the first double ammo we got. Like 60... Uh, 30 rounds. Is there... Yes, there's an ink. Yeah, we don't have room for that. But that's easily fixable. Easily peasily. Let's dump all the herbs. So I don't need that anymore. Nor that. Nor that. Nor that. I will need them soon, but not yet. Hmm. I feel like I want to use the machine gun on spiders. Yes, use the machine gun on spiders. That's right. But for now, take the bow gun and its bolts. Uh, take the lighter. And enjoy life, I guess. Take the ink ribbon. Drop the ink ribbon. No. No. I ruined it. Check these for a fuck aid spray. Okay. Leave the fuck aid spray. That's the fourth one. Wow. We're getting more and more now. I don't need help. I'm a brave woman. Quality of sewage water. I don't know if that's a thing, but it sounds silly. So, yeah, I have the bow gun and the ammo. Yes, use the lockpick. It's just like pointless with some doors. Use the lockpick. Just to remind you that you have it. It's not even an item that you carry. Like in Resident Evil 3, you actually have to carry it with you. A, uh, a thing. It occupies one of the slots. So I'll hold it to that. No one here. Blah. I see you now, you can't fool me. Fall down, bastard. Okay, he's dead. 63 bullets left. Can I remember I should have... It's probably with Leon that I need the... Uh... Yeah, I think it is. The lighter. But I got the G rounds. Oh, G, those are some cool G rounds. Various repair tools, small ventilation hole. Again, it's too small for an adult to fit into. Is there anything else but the G rounds? Of course, in meters. What, nothing else? I'm sure there's something here we can sniff out. Hmm, sniff, sniff, sniff. Nope, okay. This side. Oh, there we go. Gun bolts. Gun bolts, gun, I mean bow gun bolts. That's really good stock of ammo. Didn't even have to use the bolts. So they'll be useful later when things get a little scarier with the naked zombies and whatnot okay and i'll just arrange my inventory and save here i think that's enough for today two hours staring at this is quite enough especially after that first sherry uh portion which was no weapons it's just fucking scary so bring this 
leave that, but do bring that. I'm sure I'll need it right away. And I want to say herbs, but then again, I know I'll find the herbs, so don't bring any herbs. Unless the spy a spider poisons me, then I have to run for my life. But I'm pretty sure with this, I can be like, ta 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 Okay, and just the game crib. No, the other way, the other way. Like that. There we go. And that's it. Is she equipped? Yep. 63 bullets, 94% of machine gun. She is good. Yep, yep. Save number two. I'm pretty satisfied with how often or not often I save in this run. So far only two. So we can finish with four and five or five saves. And that's it for today, folks. That was this was Hippie Tesla with Resident Evil 2 on the N64. Uh, episode 2 of Claire A scenario. Join me tomorrow for episode 3. Same time, same channel. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter as Hippie Tesla. Uh, as you can see just below my uh, face cam. Only on Instagram there's a little underscore between Hippie and Tesla. Thanks for watching. And until next next time, stay safe.